What's going on guys? Bowtie Brem here once again. And today we are going to be doing an official wheel polishing video. Not that I said it was good that mothers, I don't know if you guys saw my video on how to restore your chrome wheels, but I had this uh, little drill thing that went on the end of the drill with a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, little foam cylinder type of deal and on how to polish up your wheels. But unfortunately that sucker broke so it's considered now junk so today we got an official polisher and uh we're gonna restore these wheels now um unfortunately i um run the wheels the wide chrome wheels all year round i don't care i i use my truck i don't have to put on i did put on winter wheels and stuff but then that just got annoying so these wheels do get dirty there's no doubt about that um they're dirty again well they look kind of clean but they could always be cleaner now what started this um me getting that polisher is one of my drum brakes went on the back and um i had completely used up the whole entire pad on it to where i don't know um the brake shoes on drum brakes, if you guys don't know, they're like a big arch, kind of look like a rainbow. And um, the brake pads on the inside of the uh, rainbow. So one side brake pad was completely gone. I was actually using the brake shoe to stop. So I noticed I was looking at my truck the one day and I'm like, man, that, that back rim looks orange. So, you know, I bust out the detail spray, microfiber and start off spraying away. And I was wiping and wiping and wiping like you do to do a quick shine on them. And the rust, or I guess shrapnel from the brake shoe, was actually embedded into the rim. And it wasn't coming out. And that made me extremely nervous. So I thought to myself, what am I going to do here? So I decided to get a buffer. Um, you can use it for paint, wheels, whatever. Um, I got this microfiber... Um, cap whatever polishing pad that goes around and i did this once before and um this stuff just from walmart metal polish cream blue magic it was like eight bucks for this little thing this does wonders too so let me hook you guys up on the tripod and we'll get to it all right guys so first things first here first we're gonna just wipe everything off no spray or anything with a microfiber so I'll leave you guys on here. Just a nice wipe. Now, let me come in and say real quick that um, I personally have not come up with a good way to um, do the inside of the rim in between all these spokes and stuff. Um, how to actually polish in there, I'm sure I could get something, but uh, I don't know. I think that's a little too far gone. I don't know if you can see, but it's all crusty, gusty, and icky icky so we're going to be focused today on the just the face of the wheel and then obviously the lip so first like i said so do a nice wipe off and then we'll buff out buff out bust out the buffer all right i'll be right back all righty guys so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this stuff um last time i just put it directly on the buffing pad but um i'm going to try a little different this time so what I'm going to do is just take a little corner of this microfiber, give it a little dip, like that, a little dip, and I'm just going to spread it on the whole wheel. Nice thin layer. Oh, set that up there. Nice thin layer all around the wheel, just like so. Kind of paint it on like you're doing a painting. And I'm going to do that. I'm not going to bore you guys to death here on this, but... You could see I'm just painting the whole thing on. Make sure you get all the way, all the way out here to all the way inside there. And I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna bust out the buffer. Be right back. Alrighty, guys, we got that sucker all covered. I'm just doing the big lip for now, but it's completely covered in it. Um, this pad just slips over the top of it, like so. And uh, now it's time to buff it. So. Uh, I plug her in and then we're gonna get to buffing and see what happens. Alrighty guys. Here goes nothing. I'm just gonna take it and go back and forth 
inside and outside till we get that nice shine. Just like this, nice and slow. You don't have to move it at all because it's uh, doing its little wibble wobble thing. We'll just do that along the whole portion of the rim. Getting out all the imperfections, polishing it up all nice. And after I do that, after I do that, and then I'll wipe it off with the microfiber and I'll, I'll be back after I do the whole wheel. Oh gosh. And make sure this stuff, if you get it on your clothes, it's a pain in the butt to get off. So try not to get it on yourself. Alrighty guys, got it all done. Now it's time to buff it with another microfiber. Let me go get up real quick. Boom, bang. Bada beep, bada boom. New microfiber in the hand. Now, we're going to wipe. You got a clean microfiber, nothing on it, and you're just going to wipe it. Now, you're going to have to wipe it. You have to put some elbow grease into that sucker so it gets all nice and shiny. Just like this. It's not just one swift wipe either. You got to, like I said, you got to put the elbow grease into it. But, as you can see, right there where I just did it, it's starting to look nice and shiny. So, uh, I'm going to wipe the rest of it, and I'll get back to it. All right, guys, we got one barrel down, three to go. But, look at that shine. Hoo-wee. Might have to put this in my room for a mirror. Look at that. Nice and Beautifully shining. Uh, you can see the good old 2019 Denali right there. But yeah, it works great. Um, just remember, when you put down your buffer, put it down like so. You don't want to contaminate that pad and then get dirt all buffed into your wheels. So that is clean. Freshly polished. And this is unpolished. You can see there's some cloudiness in there. I don't want any of that. Let's see if we can go side by side. You can see how shiny that is? How kind of shiny that is? So, uh, yeah. Oh, hit the wrong button there. Unshiny, shiny. Yeah, you can tell from this. See how much more it shines. So, I'm gonna set you guys up for a quick little time lapse of me doing the whole process, and uh, then we'll see how they turn out. Alrighty guys, we got one side done, but I guess for video purposes, that's all that matters. Uh, you guys just saw the front one. You just saw the time lapse of the back. Looking beautiful. Pretty, pretty shiny, shiny. So yeah, now uh, one thing I wanted to point out is this uh, buffer here is not like a spin one. It like spin, it spins, but also like, doesn't just go in circles. It's got like, hang on, let me shut this up real quick. You can see, let me hear. If you guys can see that, it's not a perfect circle, which gives it a, uh, I guess it's better than some because it uh, gets into all the cracks and crevices that you uh, wouldn't get in if you're just going in a perfect circle, but look great. Bowtie Mobile is shining. I'll give you one last look. I mean, how could you not want to do that? It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. So uh, remember to like and comment. I answer every single comment imaginable. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We're on that road to 1,000. We're so close. So close, guys. So let's get there and uh, be prepared for next week's video. This is the shiny wheeled bow tie mobile and bow tie brem himself checking out. Um, remember, once again, remember to subscribe. Peace out, guys.